so Lindsay, um, breaking news oh. on the type one lifting podcast. I know that's right. I know your CrossFit upgrade. Let's go. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we haven't talked in a year. I, I think it's been a little it's been over a year. year. That's wild. Yeah. R- roughly around there. So I know, um, you know, you still have, did you, did you change the gym to 1970? Is it still 1977? Yeah, it's or is... still 77. Yeah. Okay. And I, I, I saw a comment. I think you, you posted it about the affiliate fee, like increase. Oh yeah. The increase. Yeah. So, um, have you kind of changed your mind at all or like kind of what's your thoughts with the, with the increase? Yeah. I mean, I got over it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> at the end of the day, at the I end of the day, monthly, it's like one more person's membership per month. And I'm like, you know, exactly. stuff, stuff goes up. We own businesses, you know, I, I know how it goes. It's just obviously the initial, what bugged me, I think the most is that it was like a month prior to the new year. I think that's what bugged me the most was mm-hmm. the just, Oh, we're doing this. And I feel like they do that a lot. It's just, they change things on the fly without any sort of heads up. And I think that's kind of what bugs me the most, but anyway, I got over it. It's fine. I pay. Okay. It. Okay. Cause I know, cause, cause I, I, I was talking about you through when they, when we had, um, when I did a podcast with about the membership rate, like fee increase and you, they, I, you're like, I don't know if this is even gonna be worth it anymore. So, yeah, I, you know, I have my bitter moments. <laughs> I, I know, I know, I know. But uh, so so with um with the fee increase, like what as a gym owner do you expect to like have CrossFit do to help you, you know, improve your box and or just improve, you know, everything that goes around in your box? Uh, in my head, I see it as I pay to use the name, to be very blunt. That's what that's personally what I see it as. And that's so kind of that. <laughs> so, so they don't help they don't you don't want them to help you out with like you know trying to like some sales or like you know it's not, it's not that i don't want that i just uh, i will say i will say i did get one referral through the crossfit website so i'm very appreciative of that one member for that okay one and that's yeah big. yeah that's yeah. that's that's big so yeah it's but something awesome. it's yeah. something yeah. So, so, um, so has the, have you seen like the, your box, like uh, the gym grow, um, uh, even more since the last time we've talked? Yeah. It's actually doing very well right now. I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy doing that full time at the moment and it's going very well. So, yeah. So you, yeah, are you there like almost like 24 hours pretty much? No, I wouldn't say 24 hours. I'm trying to, so I coach probably anywhere between seven to 10 per week classes. I don't like to overwhelm myself with coaching because you burn out very, very easy. I think a lot of people think gym owning is very simple and easy, and there's a lot more behind scenes that people don't see. So I try to balance it out well. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I I know pool boy does a lot of coaching too. So how do you balance that out without not burning out through coaching? Sorry, one more time. You froze for a second. Oh, uh, you're good. By, by coaching? Yeah, yeah. So, how, like, how, like, I know you coach at like, you know, F45, you know, um, Matt Souza's like gym and like a bunch of bunch other places. So, how do you manage not getting burnt out through like going to all those different places? Oh, my God. Um, well, it's, it's actually not too bad because the times that I do coach, um, I coach in the morning at a like PT style studio. Um, and I'm only there for about like three, four hours. And then I head over to the gym and I train. And then I'm at the gym for like, four hours or so training and then i head over to um my crossfit gym in the evening and i coach like three classes so it's broken up so it's it's really not that bad okay i mean that's that's good set some time so so you train for like three to four hours or do you I was take just like gonna say that yeah so do you do you take breaks yeah. in between like do you eat something before I, well i know you eat like bananas with honey all over it so there's literally just like fruit and, and and honey and just quick little carbs in there yeah okay yeah. So how's the uh, HWO training going? Well, what's so funny is I actually, um, I decided to just switch over to Proven. So I ended up switching to Proven because the, the athletes at my gym, they just, they, they, that's what they do. So I'm like, why am I making myself miserable in the corner just doing these awful like HWPO workouts by myself when I can just do it, with, do Proven with them. So I just ended up just switching over to, to, to Proven. Okay. Okay. Do you still miss Myth- Misfit? I do. I do. If I, if I ever leave the gym, um, for whatever reason, um, I'll probably end up switching back to Misfit unless I end up finding some other training crew, but I would probably switch back to Misfit in all honesty. 